Hello, I'm Troy Stevens. Just pumping up my adrenaline before tonight's show. Come on, Spice, is that all you got? You arm wrestle like a girl. Oh, yeah? Well, this Spice is too hot for you. Ah! I think I didn't let her win. Then you don't know Jack! It's the only show where high culture and pop culture collide like sumo wrestlers playing musical chairs. And here's the host of the show, Mr. Troy Stevens! Good evening, welcome to You Don't Know Jack. And to you watching at home, hello. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me into your living rooms. <laughs> Do you have cats? <laughs> we have three contestants this evening. Let's cheat them. I mean, let's meet them now. <laughs> I love this game. When you answer correctly, you win money. When you answer incorrectly, you look stupid. <laughs> Our first contestant tonight, Stuart Miller. Hello, Stuart. May I call you Stu? Yes, you certainly may. All right, Stuart. You've got a big event coming up, I understand. Yes, this month my wife and I are going to celebrate our 51st wedding anniversary. <laughs> Where is your wife right now? She's sitting in the audience. Can we get a shot of her? Next from Texas, we've got Vivica Whitsitt. That's an interesting name, Vivica. Do you have any siblings with unusual names? Uh, yes, I have two sisters, Tamiko and Latanya. I'm sorry, the correct answer is Topeka and La Jolla. Oh. <laughs> and finally, we have Mr. Terry Peterson. Terry, you are a piano tuner. Correct. I understand you have also an interesting sideline. That's right, I'm a ventrilo. Quist. Well, Stuart brought his wife. Did you bring your dummy? I left him at home. Left him at home. Well, let's go to your home right now and see, shall we? Oh. Hi, honey. How you doing on the show? Uh, I was just getting ready to watch with Chucklehead. Oh, yeah, Terry. Don't bother awaken us when you get home. <laughs> Who's the dummy now? <laughs> We're just kidding around, uh, Terry. That's not really your dummy. <laughs> All right, now it's time to check the scores. Wow, it's a really tight game so far, so let's keep playing. For $1,000, suppose Ricky Martin shows up at your door and starts shaking his bonbons wildly. Based on the dictionary definition of bonbon, what's Ricky shaking? A tasty confection, a percussion instrument, Colorful flags, his sweet man cheeks. Stuart. A tasty confection. A tasty confection is correct for $1,000. Bonbons are chocolate and Ricky Martin is a pop sensation. I think they both have nuts. <laughs> You just won $1,000, or as I like to call it, walking around money. <laughs> now it's time for... This or that! Here's how it works. I'm going to read you a list of seven items, and you have to tell me if it's a world capital or baby talk. Get one right, win $1,000. Get one wrong, lose $1,000. Ready? Here we go. Wagadougou! Stuart! That's the capital of a city in Africa. That is correct. Oogie Yang. Babika. Baby talk? Baby talk is correct. Yang gone. Stuart. Capital. Well, capital is correct. $1,000. Ujumbura. Stuart. Capital city. Capital city is correct. Bobby Yu Yu. 
Kaveka. Baby talk. Baby talk is correct for one thousand dollars. Pyong Yang. Terry. World capital. World capital correct. Booby Doo. Terry. Baby talk. Baby talk correct. And we're done with that. Mucci. What are the scores? Stewart uh, has a narrow lead with four thousand dollars, and Vivica and Terry are all tied up with two thousand apiece. Thank you, Cookie. When we come back, more questions, more money, and more me. Everyone watching at home, it's now time to play along with an interactive question. Just pick up your touch tone or cellular phone and point it at the blue dot right here on the screen. Listen to the choices, hold down the corresponding number on your phone to lock in your answer, and let go when the dot disappears. <laughs> okay, contestants, this question is worth, oh, say $2,000. Say $2,000. $2,000. <laughs> You're in the Louvre Museum and have the profound feeling you've walked past the same collection of impressionist ballerina paintings in another lifetime. Considering the artist known for his ballerina paintings, what could you be experiencing? Manet, je toi. Que serat, serat. C'est Dali. Degas-vous. Terry. Dega Vu? Dega Vu is correct! <laughs> the impressionist painter Dega is known for his paintings of ballet dancers. If you have a deja vu, you have the feeling you've already experienced something before. If you have a deja vu, you have the feeling you've already experienced something before. <laughs> if you have a day. Thank you. Now let's see how the home audience did, shall we? Wow, 86% of you got it right. And to the other 14%, I can see what you're doing in your home. <laughs> that sound means it's time for a pop quiz. For $2,000, what is the fifth word in this question? Terry. Word. Word, what's the word? Word. Word is correct for $2,000. Okay. Here we go. Suppose Catherine Zeta-Jones and Michael Douglas get sick of all the jokes about their age difference and move to Greece. It could happen. Considering the Greek alphabet, where would Zeta-Jones be listed in the phone book? At the very beginning, six letters in, 13 letters in, in Anthony Quinn's Little Black Book. Terry. At the beginning? No! <laughs> Stuart. I would say it's a 13 letters in. 13 letters in, that's what you would say, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> Vivica, go ahead. I'm going six letters in. Six letters in. That's correct! <laughs> Now it's time for our two million dollar question! You heard me correct. Two million dollars. But every second that goes by, the dollar value will drop. The clock starts when I begin reading. Ready? Start the clock! If time's person of the century... That's my cell phone. Almost no one has that number. Excuse me. Hello? No, I believe you hung up on me. Did not. Did not. Did not. Did not. Will I what? Will I what? Oh, Regis, you know what I like. 
All right, here we go. If Time's Person of the Century <laughs> appeared on its TV show of the century, wearing its fashion of the century, what would you see? FDR on MASH wearing Nikes. Einstein on The Simpsons wearing Levi 501s. Gandhi on 60... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Gandhi on 60 Minutes wearing a miniskirt. Dennis Rodman on Mo... Dennis Rodman on Moesha wearing a thong. Jerry. Uh, Einstein on The Simpsons wearing Levi 501s. That's correct for four dollars! And now, it's time for a commercial. I'm not sure what it's for, but save yourself a trip by two. Tonight's third place contestant will be going home with this lovely parting gift, a four pack of delicious Hawaiian pineapple tidbits. Always delicious, always pineapple, always tidbits. Now, with the easy peel open top. Mmm. Here's our next question for $3,000. The lights are so strong on the set of The Practice that the fair-skinned Lara Flynn Boyle actually starts boiling. What temperature has Lara reached? 300 degrees Kelvin. 98.6 degrees Celsius. 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Six degrees of separation from Jack Nicholson. Terry. 212 degrees Fahrenheit. That's correct! And right now, we have a tie between Stuart and Vivica to decide who will be going home with the pineapple tidbits. Mm. Ready. Cock of the Rock. Nipple Watch. Laughing Jackass. Bustard. You'd probably like the question. Which of the following is not a bird? Vivica. I'm a uh, laughing jackass. That is so wrong! <laughs> Stuart! Cock of the rock. Cock of the rock, wrong! <laughs> Terry. Nipple wart. That's correct. <laughs> this next question is worth $5,000, that's the good news. The bad news is, the contestant in last place at the end of this round will be eliminated. You've got 30 seconds to come up with the answer. But first, I need to install your high-tech security dividers. Because while you seem like nice people, it's rumored that one of you may be a big cheating weasel. No expense has been spared, as you can see, audience. Here we go! Take the amount you pay to buy a railroad in a traditional game of Monopoly. Multiply by James Bond's secret agent number, add the number of stripes on the U.S. flag, and subtract the value of the letter C in Roman numerals. Your 30 seconds start now! Mmm. cheating. All right. A railroad in Monopoly costs $200. Multiplied by 007, James Bond's agent number, plus 13 stripes on the flag, minus 100 in Roman numerals, equals 1313. We are tied right now in second place. 
Terry, we'll begin with you because you're definitely going on to the final round. You have currently $12,004. What did you come up with? Close. Close. <laughs> 2,550. The answer, 1313. Does that seem really close to you? Vivica, what do you have? At 1,500. That's what's called close, Terry. <laughs> Stuart, what did you have? Nothing. <laughs> nothing! Stuart had a big nothing! That means we have to go to a sudden death tiebreaker. Terry, you're a ventriloquist, so you're familiar with keeping your mouth closed. <laughs> Only Stuart and Vivica can answer this question. Whoever gets it right will move on to the final round. Get it wrong, you're on the bus going home eating pineapple chunks. <laughs> Here we go. How many toes on a three-toed woodpecker? <laughs> Vivica. Three. I'm sorry, Vivica, that's incorrect. There are six toes, two feet, three toes apiece. Stuart, you are moving on to the final round. I am awfully sorry to say that we'll be saying goodbye to you in just a moment, Vivica. Let's say goodbye to her now, please. Here we go. Goodbye, Vivica. <laughs> when we come back, our final two contestants will step center stage and battle it out in the Jack Attack. Screen your calls, lock the doors, and plug your television. No, don't do that. We'll be right back. Hey, hey, Paul, Paul, what happened to the parting gift? What do you mean? The parting gift. You were supposed to give him a year's supply of pineapple tidbits. You only gave him a four-pack. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> be afraid, I'm telling you, be very afraid. It's time for the Jack Attack. <laughs> Two survivors, no! Terry and Stuart, put your sweaty little hands on the buzzer and get ready. You're going to see a series of key words. And based upon the category, your job is to put each key word together with its proper match. For each one you get right, you win 5,000. For each one you get wrong, you lose 5,000. This will decide the game. The category is, you have two what? Buzz in when you see what each item is known for having two of. Ready, set, Jack! Asian oh. Camel. Humps! Humps is correct! Dr. Henry Jekyll. Kilborgians. Queens. Now practice insurance. Personality! Personality is correct! Food Network Show! Mad cows. Oprah's. Look at me. Wayans Brothers. Fat Ladies! Fat Ladies is correct! 98 Strice and Mirror! Audience members. Rollins. Rollins! No. Spoons of butter. Smudges. Chances in hell. Faces. Faces, Faces is correct! Clumsy <laughs> person. Gerald Ford. Tails. Spleens. Gerald Ford. Gerald Life crews, souls. Look at me. Butlers. Left feet. Left feet is correct. Oh, see the snowman. Bleeding ulcers. Button noses. Chances in hell. Button noses. Eyes of cold. Eyes of cold. Oh. Correct. I think I lost. Congratulations, Terry, you're going home with $17,004. Congratulations to you, Stuart, you're going home with some pineapple. <laughs> That's our show, everyone, and if you think we're coming back for Final Jeopardy, 
then you don't know Jack! Friday in a world full of reality TV, this is still the funniest. Civil rights leaders say they're coming back tomorrow in their protest against the incompetency ruling against church bombing suspect Bobby Frank Cherry. And a local manhunt is underway tonight. We will have the very latest tonight at 10 on ABC 30 through 40 News. Daddy? 